What's up folks, Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Hunter. It's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday, and uh, we got some posts, some messages on uh, Kingsville Resale. It's a local Facebook page that posts like garage sales and whatnot, and there's supposed to be some really good garage sales today. So the wifey and I and the little girl, we're gonna shoot out into this neighborhood, stay local, and see if we can find some uh, garage sales. So wish us luck, and I'll get back with you as soon as I find something worth showing you. See you in a bit. Pew, pew, pew. Three, two. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good morning. Good morning.
Howdy. What's up folks, Kevin here. I want to quickly go over my haul for this past garage sale uh, that you got to see on the video. I didn't pick up on it entirely quite a, a lot, but got some pretty cool stuff. First thing I picked up for 75 cents is going to be this Hungry Puppy Coin Bank. Looks like it was originally marked $2 at some point at some store. Uh, so what you do is you feed him the coins and he drops them in. So it's a pretty cool looking coin bank. So that's the first thing, 75 cents. All right, next thing I picked up is I got a handful of Blu-ray movies, which I'm starting to collect. I got these for a dollar a pop. So, and all the discs are perfect. I got Artificial Intelligence. I remember that being a pretty cool movie. Here's a funny one, Kevin James in Here Comes the Boom. He was a UFC fighter. That one's a cool movie. This one I really liked. No Country for Old Men, awesome movie. One buck. That Thing You Do with Tom Hanks, this one also was very funny, very cool movie. And then Will Smith, Seven Pounds, awesome movie as well. So I'm very happy to get these. Dollar each, there's five total. So five bucks for five Blu-ray play uh, movies. Next thing I got is gonna be Darth Vader. This is a Coco Mix of some sort with, like porcelain very cool looking for any uh, dark Vader collectors got this for two dollars and you can see it was marked at nine dollars at one time but I got it for two really cool looking never used so I probably won't be mixing any cocoa with it but definitely gonna use this as a display piece next I get ended up picking up this uh, Bruder, I guess. Jeep. It looks really good. I want to use this for a custom. It's in excellent shape. It doesn't look ever played with, really. But it's perfect for three and three quarter, in my opinion. So I might do a little customizing and paint to it. But I think it'll work great for a display piece as well. I got this for a dollar. One buck. Oh, look. That's cool. That opens up, revealing the engine. So that's really cool. And this comes off as well. So 
so one dollar for the Jeep. All right, and <laughs> last but not least, this is kind of a little bit ridiculous, but and I paid a lot of money for it, five bucks, but I thought it'd be a funny gag. <laughs> this is a Midget Man inflatable doll, love doll, <laughs> blow up doll. So I thought that I would use this as a prank gift for a friend. I know it's kind of silly. So we do a, a thing with our family called the White Elephant every year for Christmas, and we try to give a ridiculous gift. So, <laughs> anyways, that's going to be my haul, guys and gals. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to the channel. Help me keep growing. This is the tattoo toy on a reminder. You never give up that hunt. Pew, 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 pew. Peace. Yeah.